We got some Black Friday deals on NHL 22 and some new 22 and under 22 cards. Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again and welcome back to the channel today. We're back with another pack opening video and uh, it's going to be a big boy pack opening. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So as you can see here, there are some great packs out in the store. Uh, we got an ultimate choice pack. We got a double primetime pack. We got a multi-league pack. We'll go through those packs in a, in a bit here. We got some Black Friday cards. Um, Brian Gianta, Jonathan Drouin, Cole Perfetti, Sammy Vadden, Rasmus Sandin. We want that Rasmus Sandin, obviously, as a Leafs fan. Uh, we got some of these cards out. Uh, Simone Gagne, Matt Barzell, Troy Terry, Jake Gensel. And then we got some new 22 and under 22 cards, which we will go through very quickly. So let's do that. So looking here, we got a Quinton Byfield. Obviously, all these cards start off at an 86 and get to a 92. So we got Quinton Byfield being the first card. Uh, Cole Caulfield got a card as well. He gets up to a 92. This card looks pretty good. But at 5'7", I don't know how great Cole Caulfield's going to be realistically. Uh, we got a Dylan Cousins, which this card I am very intrigued on making. I might possibly make him or another card, which I will show in a bit. But Dylan Cousins looks amazing at a 92, man. 6'3", 188. Uh, he's going to be a good card. Uh, we got a Noah Dobson. I believe this is a new card. Not a bad defenseman. Some decent synergies, but I still think I'd rather go with Rasmus Dahlin or uh, Bone Byram. We got a Jamie Drysdale, 5'11". This card looks pretty cracked at a 92. 93 speed, 95 wrist shot power. He's got a really good shot, actually. So Jamie Drysdale isn't too bad. Some decent synergies. Magician booming shot, bombarded. Uh, Gladiator like the lamp, applesauce, and protector. So not a bad looking card. We got a Joel Farabee at a 92. Not one of the best cards that are that are there for the new uh, cards that got released. So I probably wouldn't make them. Uh, Jack Hughes is a guy that I am absolutely looking at making. 93 speed, 92 endurance, uh, cracked shot. This guy looks amazing. Uh, he's got gladiator, booming shot, and buzzing. Uh, Well-rounded protector and applesauce, and then thief. This card looks absolutely amazing. We got a Capo Caco at a 92 as well. Uh, some pretty decent synergies on him as well, I would like to say. Decent looking card. Don't know if I'd want to make him though. Uh, Spencer Knight was from last week. I, I don't know if Lafreniere was from last week. I don't think he was, but if he was, I'm sorry. I don't think he was. Uh, Lafreniere got a card as well. Looks like a decent card. 6'2", 193, 90 speed, 92 endurance. Not too shabby. A pretty well-rounded shot. 94 throughout the wrist shot power accuracy and slap shot power and accuracy. And then we got a Jake Ottinger. Uh, you know, they got to throw a goaltender in there. I, I, I don't really have much to say. Goaltenders are pretty wonky this year. We got another Devil and Ty Smith. This card doesn't look too bad. 5'11", 91 speed. I don't know how he would play in 22 gameplay, to be honest with you. And I believe that is all the new cards that are out. And then quickly before we go look at the packs, there are some Black Friday sets out here. So as you can see right here, trading 60, 80 plus players, you get a Black Friday exclusive player. So those were the Rasmus Sandines and all the other guys there. You trade in 20 uh, random players, you get a random primetime player. Um, it says includes previously released items. Here you trade in, I think just 60 gold players, you get two power up collectibles. And here you trade in 12 silver players for a gold players pack. So some Black Friday sets. EA is trying to give us some deals. I respect it. Now looking at the store, we got a lot of good packs. We obviously got the booster pack. And then we got two ultimate choice packs we can get. Three of these multi-league packs we can get, which includes 184 plus overall player. And then four of these primetime double packs, which includes uh, two primetime players. So first things first, we're going to start off with a booster pack. We're going to see which uh, which of the new cards we are going to get. We're going to hope for the best here. We need some big pulls. I'm not going to lie to you boys. All right. So uh, I think we're going to have enough to open up this, both of the ultimate choice packs, and then maybe some multi-league packs. Um, so yeah. Okay. First things first, we're going to go with the, with the booster set. Uh, I don't know who I'm really, uh, who I'd really want out of this. I think Jack Hughes would be ideal, so I don't have to make him. Uh, so Jack Hughes would be nice. Who are we gonna get here? We get a Rich Kloon, Marley's Legend. Uh, come on, who's it gonna be? I, I'm trying to think. Just anyone but a goaltender. In all honesty, anyone but a goaltender out of this, and I'll be happy. Okay. Quinton Byfield, I don't mind that, dude. We got Turcotte last week. We get another king in, in Byfield, dude. 6'4", 220. Left-handed player. Um, he does have spark, so I do use spark. I 
uh, I do use Hardened Soul and Light the Lamp I don't use. He's a little slow for my liking. Um, 97 balance, good luck knocking this guy off the puck. I'll, I'll take a Quinton Byfield. Uh, we can get him up to a 92, so that is very nice. Another forward to add to the team there. Um, yeah, Quinton Byfield, uh, welcome buddy. Alright, that pack's out of the way. We'll take a Quinton Byfield, don't mind if I do. Uh, look in here, we're gonna go, so this is 5k, we can open up these. We're just going to start with the ultimate choice packs here. Look in here. We get a 62%. 62% at an 86 plus player. EA. Please. I beg. 2,500 coins. We get two of these big boy packs. Give me something big here. I need my coin total to go up. I've yet to pull a power up icon this year. So let's pull a power up icon. I think that'd be great. So first round, not the greatest. We'll go Brock Nelson and Jonathan Marshall. Oh, we get three picks. Okay. Uh, let's go Clayton Keller, Marshall, and Brock Nelson. All right. Don't mind if I do. We're going to stock up uh, on players in this pack here. Uh, we get a team of the week, Casa. Um, a team of the week, Valtteri Filpula and a Jared McCann. So let's go... Casa, McCann, Philpula, just because it's their team of the week cards, I guess. Second round out of five, I believe they're here. Uh, so we get a Justin Falk. We get a Kale McCarr at an 84, not too shabby. Uh, Alexis Lafreniere, he does have his 86 out right now, but that's fine. And a Mark Shifley. So we'll take a Shifley, we'll take a McCarr, and we'll take a Justin Falk. Uh, we're heading into round four of five. Give me something big here. All right, round four out of five here. Shea Theodore. A John Gabriel Pajot, a Sean Monahan, and a Jacob Markstrom. Oh my god, are we not going to pull an 86 from this pack? I'm actually worried we're not going to pull an 86 from this pack. Is my pack luck this bad this year? Kyle Connor, a Thomas Placanic, that is a new card to be fair. Darcy Kemper, and a Mika Zabinajad. Just 83s in that round. What game? Come on, man. That's that's not cool, dude. That That's so not cool. Not one purple from this pack. I, I'm honestly a little hurt game. A lot of gold cards, which is nice, but like no 86 plus. All right, we get one more of these. Let's break it up with a multi-league pack. How does that sound? So looking at this pack, we get an 86 plus in this pack, or 28% chance at an 86 plus. What what are the odds of getting an 83? 100%. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break up that pack and we're gonna go with a multi-league pack. We get one 84 plus player here. I don't know what's happening. That was really slow. I think we're getting a good pack here. Let's go 84 plus. Let me see a purple. Uh, pull here or an icon. I'll take an icon gladly guys. I'm, I'm telling you a power-up icon would be uh, great I need coins. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Anyways, where's our 84 plus player? We have yet to seen it. The rest of the pack has been horrible We get an 86 Artemi Panarin. I think this is like my third or fourth time pulling Artemi Panarin. It's a purple I'm not complaining. Welcome to the team Artemi. Uh, we might use them to trade him in for some of those uh, Collectibles so we can upgrade our Quinton Byfield and maybe make another card as well so hey we will definitely take an artemi panarin anything else in this pack nothing but we will take a purple pull artemi welcome to the team buddy okay and now we move back to the ultimate choice pack looking at our odds again 62 percent chance of getting an 86 plus we had a 28 percent here um in, in the multi-league pack and we were able to pull one surely we get a purple out of this one we're gonna open it up with our nose Let's go. Give me something big here, EA. I'm begging. Josh Norris. Uh, Steven Stamkos, 85 overall. Not too bad. Marcus Foligno. And an 88 Sam Gagne. I don't know if he's going to go for anything. It's actually not a bad looking card if you get distributor activated with him. 6'1", 193. Uh, 90 speed. Decent passing and puck control. Good durability. Um, Sam Gagne. Yeah, okay. He, sh he should go for something. We're going to take Gagne, Stamkos, and Foligno. That's a pretty good first round if I do say so myself. There's a purple we were hoping for. I'm happy with it. Maybe we can get one more. I don't know. Uh, we will see here, though. Uh, so we'll go Turjan, uh, Alexiak, and Matt Dumba. Uh, third round out of five, I believe, already. And it's a purple card again. Another purple. Another 88. It's a Black Friday. Darius Kasparitis? I, I don't know if I said that right. He's a workhorse and distributor. Um, and Magician, it's not a, he's not a bad looking card, 5'11", 2'12", a little slow, uh, but it's an 88, I probably will just sell him and hopefully get something for him, two purples and one ultimate choice pack, I will take that though, and uh, nothing else there, so we'll take Carlson, Chitron, and uh, Darius here, two purple pulls and one ultimate choice pack, that's more like a game, that really is, we got Pajot here, Dvorak, 
Fabro and Brassard. So, I mean, just a bunch of 80 overalls. I don't expect to pull anything else in this pack, to be honest. Uh, they, they, it gave out this pack. Another Kill Makar, second one of this opening. Sebastian Ajo, 284s. Uh, Sveshnikov and an 87 Austin Matthews. What is this ultimate choice pack? I will take it. We are getting our coin total up today, and I absolutely love that. So Austin Matthews, Aho, and Makar. Uh, what an ultimate choice pack, actually. Like, let's look over the cards that we pulled in this pack. Unreal, Stamkos, um, Gagne, um, Kasperitis, uh, <laughs> Kill Makar, Aho, and uh, Matthews. Three purples and one ultimate choice pack. Uh, let's go. Boys, the good thing is we still got two of these multi-league packs. We're going to try maybe some of the primetime packs if we're able to. So uh, let's keep it going here, man. Let's pull some more purples. I wouldn't mind more purples. I wouldn't complain. So we get an 84 plus out of this pack here. Again, a purple would be great. If not, it's okay. We've had some very good luck so far. We've made some coins this video. Uh, I'm happy with it, okay? To say the least, I'm very happy. And it's another purple. 86 overall, Alexander Ovechkin. Don't mind if I do. That's two purples in these packs. These packs are given out today. The market's probably not the greatest, so I'm probably not going to sell everything now, but we will take an Alexander Ovechkin. I do have his X-Factor fully upgraded already, so I can just sell his 86 overall. Um, I doubt we're going to pull anything else in here, uh, but dude, like, uh, what is that? Four or five purples this video? Uh, absolutely insane. Uh, it's another 86 plus. Uh, yeah, okay, awesome. And we get one more of these, so let's see what we get. Maybe we get another purple out of these. The way this has been going, it, it's a good possibility here. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, besides like the 84 plus guaranteed in here, you really don't get anything else. So you're really banking on an 84 plus. I really thought that was going to be it. Shea Weber at an 81, not too bad. We still get our 84 plus in here. Uh, Eric Gustafson. Oh my goodness. Anything else? Uh, Barkov at an 85. At least it's not an 84. We will definitely take an Alexander Barkov. We'll skip the rest here. Nothing else. Sweet Canada jersey. We might equip that. But uh, 85 overall Barkov isn't too bad. And moving on to the primetime double pack. 12% chance at an 86 plus player. It's not the greatest. We get two guaranteed um, primetime players in this pack. I think we can only open up one of these if my math was correct. Yes. So I can still do math kind of. Uh, let's see who our primetime players are going to be. Something big would be nice. I have a feeling it's not going to be anything too, too big though. Uh, okay. One. Max Domi at an 82, not ideal, that's for damn sure. And an 84 Darnell Nurse, I mean, that's not too bad. 750 coins, I doubt he goes for anything. Not the greatest pack, to be honest, but fine by me. Um, and then we get 500 uh, points, we get 580 plus players in this elite pack, and then that is it for this pack opening. It's been an unreal pack opening, if we're going to be honest with each other here, boys. So uh, let's see what we can get here. Ilya Samsonov, not too bad. Rangers jersey, LeBanc. Flames jersey, Dylan Dubé, Andrew Kopp, and a Sam Bennett. So, not the greatest pack there, but like honestly, we can't complain with the way this pack opening has gone. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's pack opening video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And realist, like in all seriousness, what a pack opening it was. We we made some coins. Uh, we can make a bunch of collectibles to upgrade Byfield if I want to make another card, maybe. Um, yeah, W video. I love it. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!